Question 1. Draw angle POQ of measure 75 degree and find its line of symmetry. Well, there are two ways to draw 75 degree angle. So first of all, the use of protractor. Alright. So, you can very easily use this because you have learned it in previous chapter. Just point the pointer here and go all the way up to, you have to go up to 75 degrees and this will be your angle. But since we have studied the construction with the help of compasses, so we will do the same. So first of all, draw a line. OQ, it's a line segment, not a line because marked with points at the both extreme ends. Now, we will make a semicircle with a reasonable radius. Point at R. Now, open the compasses with radius OR and draw this arc, S. Name it S. Okay, now, with the same radius, put your compasses needle at S and draw an arc. It will cut at T. All right, so what what does it mean? It means this is 60 degree and 60 degrees. So you have constructed 120 degree and what lies between 60 degree and 120 degree. It will be your 90 degrees. Okay. So now with the same radius, you can cut at U and similarly from S as well. So this is the point where you get 90 degrees. So the idea is 75 degree can be attained by subtracting 15 from 90 degrees. So what will be the half of 30 degrees? It will be 15 degrees. Okay. So that means we have to construct another angle bisector. So put your compasses here, draw an arc. And now put your compasses at S and draw another arc. So you'll get a P point and this will be your 15 degrees. So what we achieved from this construction is angle of 75 degrees. Now we have to find the line of symmetry. So line of symmetry is simply the angle bisector. So again, what we can do is put the compasses at R, open it with reasonable radius or the previous radius you can also use. You'll get a point X, which will be your line of symmetry or you can also say your angle bisector. So that is your first question. Second, draw an angle of measure 147 degrees and construct its bisector. Now, you can use protractor for this, place it O and go all the way up to from 0 to 147. So here is your 147 degrees and make a line to the origin. Now, we have to bisect it. Bisect means cutting the angle equally. So, Draw an arc with small radius and now mark A and B from B, open with the same radius. You can also take another radius as well and also from A you'll get C point which will be your bisector. So what is the half of 147 degrees? It is 73.5 degree. So you will bisect it in two equal parts of 73.5 degrees. This is also 73.5 degrees. Third, draw a right angle and construct its bisector. Well, we have already learned it. First of all, make a line segment OB. Then draw a semicircle with reasonable radius. Now from here, draw 60 degree by opening radius of OX up to OX. Then from D, another 60 degree at C. Then what is the half? Half will be 90 degrees. So it is the bisector of this angle. Now from D with the same radius and from C with the same radius you get a point E. Now just join it that is AO that will be your 90 degrees. So half of the task is done. Now you have to take another angle bisector because we have to divide it in 45 degrees each. That will be your angle bisector. Now make another arc from O with from P, make an arc up to F with the same radius from Q also. So you'll get F and join it. That will be your bisector of this angle. That is 90 degrees. Fourth, draw an angle of measure 153 degrees and divide it into four equal parts. So you'll take your protector, point it at O, go all the way up to 153 
we'll go like this from 0 to 153. Here is your 153 degree. Connect it with this point by removing the protector and using rulers. So you will get BOA as your angle. Now we have to divide it into four equal parts. So first of all, we will divide it from the center. Okay. So make a semicircle or just the points where it cuts. You have to get these two points in B and A segments. Now from that points, you will cut at C. Okay, you can also make a big circle. That depends on your practice. Okay, you have to just intersect from both the points to get one point named as C. So we have divided this 153 into two equal parts. But the task was to divide it four equal parts. So we will subdivide both the angles that we have attained. Now you'll do the same thing. Just remember one thing here you have to mark when you were earlier marking your circle, you have to also mark it on C segment. From there, you will have to take your bisection. So this is how you bisect from the both ends from the semicircle that you have made earlier. So this is how you divide your angle that is 153 degree into four equal parts of 38.25 degrees each. So each of them will measure the same divided angle. Fifth, construct with ruler the compasses angles of following measures. So 60 degrees, how you can make, we have already learnt it in previous examples. So first draw an arc that cuts both rays and then from that open radius with OA and draw a circle or the arc where it cuts at B. So that will be your 60 degrees. That is how you make your 60 degrees with the help of compasses. Now 30 degrees, it's just a matter to bisect it. First of all, you'll draw your 60 degrees as you did earlier. Then you'll draw an arc. Then from point B, make an arc. And from A also, wherever it cuts. Point is that arcs must cut each other in order to get your point. So it will be a 30 degrees. Now 90 degrees. Well, we have learned it earlier as well. You construct for 60 degrees. That is by opening with the radius OA. You cut at B and repeat the same thing. You cut at C. First of all, what you'll do? Open OA as radius and cut at B. Then point at B and cut at C. Then you take bisection of that to get you to 90 degrees. From this open with the radius or you can do it with the same radius as well now wherever it cuts that is your 90 degrees you just connect it this was your 90 degrees construction with the help of compasses 120 degrees now 60 you have done it earlier first you make 60 degree by opening up to oa as you did earlier then just point at B and make your another 60 degree to add up up to 120 degrees. So this is your 60 and another 60. That is your 120 degrees. Now 45 degrees. Well, you learned 90 degrees. You have to just bisect it. So that was your 90 degree. And from this semicircle, these two points. We'll draw an arc. This is just the showing of 90 degrees. Now we'll show for 45 degrees. You have this semicircle already made. From here, open your compasses with the same radius. You can also do it and cut it from A as well. So this is your 45 degrees. Now 135 degrees. Here is the trick. The line measure of an angle is 180 degrees. So you first make 45 degrees and the rest from the opposite side or the outside of this 45 degrees up to this line, EO will be your 135 degrees. 
Sixth, draw an angle of measure 45 degree and bisect. Well, same question is repeating again. First, you draw 90 degrees. Then you take its angle bisection to make your 45 degrees. All right. And then from this arc, this was your 45 degrees. Okay. And then from this arc, make an arc, this yellow arc. Make sure 45 degrees. And then this internal point will be your bisection. Now, how to do it? From this yellow where it cuts red line and from P, construct arcs with the same radius you can also see. You can also make or with another radius, that's your preference. Wherever it cuts, it will be your bisection of 22.5 degrees. So we cut 45 degrees into two equal halves. Seven. Draw an angle of measure 135 degree and bisect it. Now, this is just the repetition. 145 can be made indirectly. First, make 45. The other portion will be 135 because sum of an angle on a line is 180 degrees. So, 135 plus 45 makes you 180 degree. That was your step one. Now, it's just a matter to bisect it for the same thing. You draw a semicircle that connects P and B. And where it cuts P and B, you make the intersection at another point that gives you a point to make a line that divides your angle into half. So 67.5 is the measure of the bisection of angle of 135 degrees. That is how you bisect all the time. You just take the semicircle and from that point you make your angle. Now eight, draw an angle of 70 degrees. Well, we will use protractor for this case. This is simple, you have learned it all the way. Now, the main thing is you have to copy it. Now make a copy of it using only straight edge and compasses. All right, this process is very simple. First, you make another line PQ. Okay, then from A, open your compasses and draw an arc that connects your C and B. Similarly, with the same radius. The important point is with same radius, draw an arc on another line that you are constructing. That will be your R and Q. All right. Now, open your radius from B to C and draw an arc wherever it cuts at C. And with the same radius, you have to do the same thing from Q. Where you earlier instructed your arc and where it cuts will be your point R. And in that way, you can copy the same angle with the help of a straight edge and a compasses. Straight edge means your ruler, simple. That is how you copy any angle whatsoever. Nine. Draw an angle of 40 degrees, copy its supplementary angle. Well, use your protractor. We are doing it from the left side, so we will study inner digits or inner markings. That is your 40 degrees. Now, what is supplementary angle? You have studied in previous chapters. Whose sum gives you 180 degrees? So, 40 plus 140. So, what should be added to 40 to give you 180 is 140. Therefore, 140 supplementary angle and we have to copy it. So copy, we have studied in previous question. Just make a first for a line, name it ST with two points. Now draw an arc that connects your R and Q, the required angle rays. Similarly, draw a semicircle on the another line you are drawing onto. Now open arc from one point, and wherever it cuts at R, make a arc. Now with the same radius, pick it up, put your needles at T and draw wherever it cuts your semicircle. So this will be your required line or ray in this case because angle has rays so that is the construction or the copying of your supplementary angle in this case which was 140 degrees that was the last question